Hello friends, I'm Gabriel Meneses, your e-commerce coach, and today I'm teaching you how to add a fully customizable order tracking page to your Shopify store for completely free. This is a super simple process. You only need to copy and paste an HTML code inside your Shopify, and that is it. You are ready to go. Your customers will be able to visit this page, put their tracking number, and they will see the status of their package okay so without further ado let's get started the first thing that you need to do is to go to the first link in the description and download the html code so open your email and you will receive an email just like this one if you don't see it make sure to check the spam folder or the promotion folder now you have access to the html of the tracking page let's go and copy this code and paste it inside our shopify so this is our Shopify store, so let's go and create a new page. So make sure you go to online store, click pages, and then click add page. For the title, let's put track order. Now let's click the HTML button right here. If you paste your code without clicking this button, the tracking page won't work, okay? So make sure that before pasting your code, you click this button, okay? So let's go and click this one. Then let's go on top and click Ctrl B or Command B if you're on a Mac. Just like that, we just pasted the code right here. Now let's click Save. Now we have a super simple tracking page. We have the title, we have a message, enter your tracking number to see the order status. We can paste our code right here, the tracking number, and then we can go ahead and click this button to track our package. So super simple, but now you want to change the actual color of the button or maybe the line or change this text, okay? So let's go and do this. To make any changes to the actual page, go ahead and click this option right here that says show HTML. After that, you can change anything you want from the code. So one of the first thing that you want to customize is the actual phrase that you see at the beginning. So right here you see enter your tracking number to see the order status. You want to say something differently, just go ahead, delete this, and just write whatever you want to say. The next thing that you might want to change is the actual color of the box right here. So we want to change the border, okay? So for this one, we want to match it with the actual purple that we see right here in the footer. So the thing that we have to do is to go down right here, border color, and we'll put the code for this purple. Or E. By AC3 and now we're going to copy this color once again because we're also going to use it for our button right here we see the button in black so now we go down and then we find the actual button code so right here we see background color right now it's in black but we're going to put the code for the purple besides the background color of the button right here you can also change the border color of the button and the letters of the actual text inside the button. Finally, you can also change the actual message of the button. Right here we have track order, but you can change the message to anything that you want. So now that you made your changes, now it's time to click save. Now our page looks branded. The color of the logo looks the same as the border of the box, the actual button, and the footer. The final thing that we have is to add the actual tracking page to our menu and footer. So right here we go to footer menu and then we're going to click add menu item. For the name we put track order and the link we click this option and then we go to pages and then track order and then we click add. Just like that we have the track order feature inside our footer. Now we go ahead and click save menu and now we refresh our actual page. So now you can see it right here, track order, we click it, and then we are in the actual tracking page. The same way we can add it to the main menu. So we go ahead and click the option for the main menu and just click add menu item. And we'll put the same name, track order, and then for the link, we'll pick the page for the track order that we created. And finally, we click save menu. As you can see, the track order was added to the main menu. If we click it right here, it will send us to the actual page that we created. Now your customers will be able to track their packages inside your website without any extra cost. Just for you to know, as soon as your customer puts their tracking number, they will click track order. Then one page will come right here and they will be able to see all of the information. This information is coming from a service called 17track.net. All of the information inside this website comes from all of the major carriers around the world. So most likely when they track their package, they'll be able to see all of the information 
without any problem. One of the most common questions that I get is, Gable, how do I actually send the tracking number to my customer? This will depend on the actual fulfillment method that you are following. Let's say that you're using CJ Dropshipping, AliExpress, SendDrop, or any of these companies for dropshipping. This will be done by them. They will send the actual tracking number as soon as the order is fulfilled. This will communicate to Shopify and then Shopify will send the information to your customer. This way they will be able to actually track the order inside this page. If you're fulfilling the orders yourself, you will actually need to do this process manually or with a virtual assistant that can help you do this process. As soon as you ship the order, you will need to take the tracking number, put it inside Shopify, and then Shopify will notify the customer as soon as the order is shipped. And finally, if you're using a fulfillment center, most likely this company has a Shopify app that actually links everything together. So as soon as they ship the package, you will be notified and then a system will be sending an email to your customer, okay? So this will depend on whatever fulfillment method you are using. Now you know how to add a Shopify order tracking page for completely free. Make sure to like this video if it helped you, comment down below if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified next time I post a video just like this one. I will see you in the next one.